So I want to make just a short video to address some of the comments that have come up on uh, some of the videos on my YouTube channel. Specifically this idea that no one will debate me. Well, recently I had a gentleman by the name of John Lawn contact me via the comments section and then via a private email in which he, he offered to debate me. In fact, uh, he said, uh, the very first comment, he said, uh, quote, I, I will debate you. He then followed up his, uh, his next comment uh, by ending it, let's debate, exclamation point. Uh, and then after I explained to him, while well, I'm, I'm traveling, I was actually in Miami on business, and my computer had crashed, and I was, uh, uh, I didn't tell him this, but I was reduced to my, uh, my smartphone to try to answer many different uh, comments and get back to him. I told him, I, I'll happily debate you, and we'll set up the details in a few days. Uh, he comes back to me with, uh, why won't you debate me? You are afraid because Sai soundly de defeated you. Don't spread the false charge that no one will debate you. Well, over the last couple of weeks since he first con uh, contacted me, we've had much back and forth via uh, private email. And first John um, backed out of or said that he wouldn't do an in-person debate despite the fact that I said I would come to where he was. He said he was going to be traveling somewhere else. I said, I'll come there. I'll buy you dinner. Whatever we need to do to, to make this in-person debate happen. He finally started asking me, well, what's in it for him? Uh, and so I, I just I just let that go. I said, fine, if you just want to do a written debate, I set up a blog. You'll see there on the screen the uh, uh, where that blog is set up. And I said, listen, I'll, I'll put out my argument, and then you can respond to it um, in a reasonable period of time. Well, finally, just today, finally he says uh, via email to me that I'm not going to debate someone that uh, would feels that somehow using dirty words, as he says, is, is okay or moral. Uh, and that stems from the fact that apparently, I didn't even read the comment, but apparently someone had left a comment on my channel in response to John uh, that he felt was offensive or profane in some way, and I didn't, I didn't condemn it. So we've got this weird situation where what he's saying is he won't debate me because he's offended by what somebody else said. And it was pretty clear from the start that John had no intention of debating me. He just wanted to kind of throw this thing out there uh, to say, well, I'll, I'll debate you. Quit saying that no one will debate you. The fact is that no presuppositionalist will debate me. In fact, I got a reply today from uh, Tim, I guess his name is. He goes by the name Bible Thumping Wing Wingnut. I'd never call him that, but I guess what he calls himself. In any event, where he basically says, well, I interpret it as, you know, why would I want to debate you? Which I took as a rhetorical statement and to say, no, he won't debate me. Uh, he then said, well, I you know, essentially, I didn't say no. Uh, so when I asked him yesterday, I sent him an email saying, well, is it yes or is it no? Uh, I, I get no reply at all. So I get this either no reply uh, a non-reply, if you would, or outright no, any anytime. Dustin Seegers, Eric Hoven, uh, Kerrigan Skelly, uh, Chris Johnson, guy goes by Creation Liberty, uh, has said he would do a Skype debate with me, but that was weeks ago when he said he would contact me. It just hasn't happened. And now this John Long guy uh, was playing games with me for a couple of weeks and then finally backed out by reasons which are, you know, on their face just absurd. My point isn't to, to bash these guys. You know, I think they're probably decent people. My point is, actually, let me read a quote for Stephen Weinberg. It's quoted saying, With or without religion, good people can behave well, and bad people can do evil. But for good people to do evil, that takes religion. And, you know, I think it's true, because in this case, this presuppositionalist religion is based upon really bad arguments. In order for them to defend this kind of illusion that they've created for themselves, that that this argument is is proof of God or is bulletproof somehow, um, it requires them to act in really bad ways for them to just flat out lie to people like me who have kind of figured out the tricks of, of their argument. So I think that the lesson here is that we need to be patient. We need to understand that we being atheists, have to understand that these people are really struggling. They want to know the truth, but the cognitive dissonance that occurs when 
their contradictions and their irrational thinking is exposed to them, you know, can be quite painful. And to some degree, they feel like they have to avoid that pain by avoiding that confrontation. Uh, the fact is that it's going to be painful. Anytime your, your worldview is dismantled in front of your eyes, it, that can be psychologically very difficult to deal with. And so I think we need to be patient. Uh, and ultimately, if, if we're honest and we can put out our view, then more and more people will come to see that uh, specifically in this case presuppositionalism is just flat out irrational and they will uh, will discard it. So I guess I may never get a presuppositionalist to debate me, although I would love to do that. I'm not a great debater by any means. I'm just some average guy. You know, like I told John, I'm just an average guy that's seen that the emperor has no clothes and I'm not afraid to say so. So anyway, if somebody does debate me, Great. In fact, I'm going to put my argument up on that blog uh, in a little while, and if somebody wants to respond to it, great. If not, well, I guess it will just sit there. Thanks.